Hey guys, it's me, a little surfetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Today, we are finding this person. Hello, so you have been exploring today as usual, yes? So very energetic. Have you heard the tale of the famous explorer, Scizor? Scizor was an explorer and extraordinaire whose fame stretched across this very world. Truly, he had the reputation that all explorers expired toward. But this great explorer, he went missing while he was exploring Blizzard Island far in the southwest. Many an exploration team set out to rescue the great explorer, but one and all, they were turned back by the bitter cold and swirling blizzards till none dared to try again. It is a tale from many years ago. There also have been rumors, they say, they say that the explorer Scizor was searching for an amazing treasure. You're an incredible team, Team Azur. With, what, with the saving, what with saving the world and all? No exploration teams have gone to Blizzard Island since the rescue efforts were called off years ago. By any chance, would you be willing to go? I hear that Blizzard Island is in the southwest of the map. Oh, I think we're willing to go. And, you cannot go to Blizzard Island. Oh, let's go to Blizzard Island. Because, well, that's going to continue the post-game story. Maybe doing this will unlock the Master Ranks 1, 2, and 3. And the Guild Master Rank. Oh, shoot. I forgot. My moves became unlinked in between episodes, and I forgot to link them back. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Now we're just going to have to go through this with our moves unlinked. Which honestly isn't fine. We are really high level. We should be fine. Hello. We should honestly be fine. I just, you know, feel more safer if I have all my moves linked, like usual. Oh, hi, Pile of Swine. Is this the music from... Not Blizzard. I'm thinking, what, is this the Mount, like, a sort of remix of Mount Freeze or something? From, you know, uh, a rescue team. If I'm thinking about that. <gasps> Hi, Fetch! How are you? How are you? How are things with our friend? Okay, this music does sound familiar, though. Why does this sound familiar? I mean, I have taken on this dungeon before, but... I don't know why, it just sounds familiar. Okay, so I think there's two dungeons we have to go through in this episode. Blizzard Island, and then there's one more, I think? I've heard this before. This is a tune from Rescue Team, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I can only use Wide Slash. It's not like I was gonna use that move. Oh, wait a minute. Thunder Fang! Oh, great. It's snowing! Good thing it looks like the hill doesn't actually affect us. You know, Allie, I know you... There you go. I was like, I know you know Brick Break. Okay, yeah, this is starting to sound more and more familiar as I listen to it. Excuse me. That's quite enough, Fetch. Stop attacking me. If you know what's good for you. Oh. Yeah, this definitely, this part of the music is definitely something from Rescue Team, but like a remix. Because I've heard this before. I think it's just like a remix of a bunch of Rescue Team songs, which is cool, honestly. I do like this. Yeah, I think this is definitely just like a bunch of different remixes from like the Ice Dungeons or whatever from those games. Also, I think, okay, I thought Allie was level 48 still, because I did 
get them up a few levels in between episodes, trying to get to the next unlock. And yeah. Also, I did get a bunch of boxes. We're gonna have to open those sometime. We might, again, collect a bunch of boxes and then go for Dialga in a separate episode as another, like, filler episode or something like that. That might be cool to do. You know, as another filler episode. Wait, did we do the filler episode? No, the last time was the Shaman episode. The one before that was the filler episode. So we might collect a ton of boxes again, open those, and then we'll head out for Dialga. And recruit Dialga on the team. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. So this dungeon, I looked it up, it's 20 floors. And yeah, I didn't actually look up and see if, like, because Bullopedia does have a trivia section on their pages. I didn't see if, oh no, my food, I only have a little bit of, and I'm probably not going to use any of it anyway, because I can only assume that there's going to be halfway points. Or like, midpoints, or whatever, or whatever, you know. Points where we just get a rest, a rest stop, basically. Because sometimes midpoints aren't actually in the middle of the dungeon. Like, because I think with a bunch of the mountainous dungeons, there's peaks that are like three or four floors, as opposed to the mountain being like ten or eleven or something like that. Hello! How are you doing, Paliswine? It only really does more damage to you than it does to me. I want the money. I'm thinking of Blizzard Island. Is this supposed to be what... Is this supposed to be what... The second half of... Our Girl Bile Story Adventure was... Is this supposed to be, like, where the island is in the future? Because I know, like, some of the areas are, like, past areas. Like, I think Tree Shroud Forest is the Deep Dusk Forest in the Dusk Forest. Like, I think that's pretty obvious. Oh no, it's some mare roll. Oh, you stopped getting buffed up or something, whatever that was. Oh no, I'm getting hungry. Do I actually have apples? I probably have apples somewhere. Look at those yellow shades. If only I could wear them and it actually... No! No, my... I only have two apples. You know what? I might as well just eat the grimy food while no one's here. Or, you know, it could just set me on fire and make it so I can still move. I was going to say, I might as well eat the grimy food while I'm here. Just so I can sort of get a little bit of food back. And also, while no one is here, I can stop from moving stop from moving not moving being an issue what the heck this isn't safari zone you don't have to watch carefully oh no he used present well I'm gonna use thunder thing okay so if it makes us go home before the next dungeon I'm definitely going to link my moves back up. So I think in one of the dungeons while I was training in between episodes, I accidentally hit one of those PP0 traps, and unfortunately, it selected, I think, either Charge or Thunderfang. One of those two, which essentially made it so... I 
lost my link. No, what are we doing here? Are you gonna heal me? Oh, that does. Oh, that can do a lot of damage. What the heck? Do I have... Do I... I need something. I need something. Where's my max elixirs? Okay, here we go. Each de max elixir. Can you guys stop it, please? Can you just chill out for a second? Okay, I should start healing now. Wow, it took forever just to get to that floor. Jeez! Die! Oh, I forgot. I just took my, my moves. I made everything full again. I don't need to recruit anyone on my team. You've got the perfect three-man team, or three-person team. And I am dead! Thank you, Delibird. You took away one of our precious Reviver Seeds, and I'm so happy that you did that. Can't be happier! Dang it. Now we only have one Reviver Seed, because I also lost a couple of Reviver Seeds in the episode... in the training... in between episodes, so we only had two going into this. And now we have one, so hopefully... Uh, these next two dungeons in this episode don't screw us over. Because I know there's a boss we have to fight in the second one. I hope the boss does not screw us over with, like, multiple Pokemon that we have to fight. Because if that happens, we're done. That's it. That's all she wrote. Unless, like, my full team, if I lose one member, not all of them goes down, because I think... In the post-game, they start being lenient on that. Possibly? Because technically, like, it makes sense for the main story that everyone has to go. And if one of us dies, everyone leaves because, you know... It's the main story. But, like, this is the post-game. And yes, while they're is a story attached to this. It's not, like, very much of a serious story. It's more just like a, hey, save this explorer. He's... Are you kidding me? Well, that's great. Now we have no revive seeds. Just, just great. Just great. We're gonna die. All we can hope for is that Kecleon has some Reviver Seeds for sale. Maybe at least one can keep us alive. Oh, please. Please, can I leave and come back? There is a huge jagged chasm cutting through the wall of ice. It appears to lead to a series of caves. It's the entrance to another dungeon. I can now enter Crevice Cave. Yes, I would like to return to Sharpedo Bluff. Please, Kecklon, you have to have some seeds. If not, because this episode isn't too long as it is, I might just run through Beach Cave a couple of times until I can get some Reviver seeds. But hopefully Kecleon will have something for me. He has one. Okay, I want to get at least, like, three. I have to put some stuff up first, though. I want to at least get three Reviver Seeds for me. And then we should be good. So, let's just do, you know, a few quick runs through... I don't need all these Petrify Orbs. Let's do a few quick runs through Beach Cave. Just running through. I could just, like, go into an area, because I think I have a bunch of escape orbs in here. 
I could just, like, run through with a bunch of escape orbs. Like, they might wire. No. I don't know what that, like, fake accent that I was accidentally trying there was supposed to be, but... Let's just run through Beach Cave. It's five floors. It's easy. Like, I can get there within, like, two minutes. And once we get at least three revive seeds, then we can head to Crevice Cave, if it will let me go through there. Okay, that's good. That's good. I can go back there without having to go through Blizzard Island. And hey, maybe, going through this here, we can get leveled up. Probably not. That's definitely a lie. It's definitely a full-blown lie that I just told. There is no way we are leveling up in this unless I stay here for like 80,000 tries. Um, which, I mean, I could do that. Just have a full episode of going through Brian, of going through Beach Cave. Level up, you know. Come on, come on. There you go. Uh, there we go. Exit. I don't need an orange berry. I need reviver seeds. Is this a reviver seed? Nope, it's a sleep seed. Thanks for activating it, Shellos. So I didn't have to collect it. Ah. Just die, Shelter. And we're done. Literally not barely even two minutes. And I don't think Crevice Cave should take us forever to get through, because it's only 15 floors that I looked up. So hopefully we can get some reviver seeds, we can go through Crevice Cave and save Scizor, and then we'll be good for this episode. But I want to make sure I have at least some Reviver Seeds, just you never know what could happen. Man, I'm level 50. That's crazy. We're selling some more Reviver Seeds. Oh, you're selling one. Just give me one more tomorrow, and we're golden. Let's move on to Beach Cave again. Oh, before I forget... We have to link our moves. Link. There we go. And I need to get some money, too. Because I don't have money with me to, you know, actually buy Reviver Seeds if we have any next time. Let's go back through the Beach Cave. And hope tomorrow there's a Reviver Seed in the store. Which, I mean, it hasn't let me down yet. Corselet, will you stop it? Ah, Corselet, stop it. Corselet, I swear? Your Galarian form is better than you. Don't act like you're better than your Galarian form. Which, I'm surprised. Like, that's one thing that I like about... Sword and Shield, is that they had Galarian forms for Pokemon that weren't just Alola. Like, yes, I'm ever so glad that they give Farfetch'd a Galarian form and an evolution. You can get boxes from this dungeon? Like, I'm ever so glad that Farfetch'd got a Galarian form because he got an evolution with it too, but like... Zigzagoon got an evolution and a Galarian form. Uh, what else? Who else got one? I know... Corsola did, I already said that. Um... Darumaka didn't get an evolution, but he did get a Glorian form. I think... Yamask got a new evolution and a Glorian form with Runarigus. Mr. Mime got a Glorian form, but he's Gen 1. And he got an evolution. 
which I hate Glorian Mr. Mime. It's probably my least favorite Galar Pokemon out of every single one of the Pokemon that originate from Galar. It's terrible. I hate it. It's tap dancing. It's a tap dancing mime, and that's just something I don't like. Oh, did you accidentally click not buy? <sighs> Gotta go through again. It's fine. We're gonna get three Reviver Seeds so we can get through this, hopefully, without any troubles. Hi, Mr. Mime. We're gonna save Scizor. Just give me some time. I need Reviver Seeds. I will save your buddy. Oh, hello. Shelter. Good job, Allie. We're a beautiful team, the three of us. Allie is the water type. I'm the electric type. And Percival is the rock type. And I think also the dark type. I think he's the only one of us that has a dual type. Which is pretty Awesome. Okay, I have to check if this is a revival. Nope, just a sleep seed. We can leave now. Goodbye, everyone. Beach Cave Pit. We're seeing this place a lot. This reminds me of, like, Brian Cave, because it has an area that leads out to the sea. Which also, this is a cave that... I know it goes down, so, like, how can it lead out to the sea? If it's literally on the sea? I'm not gonna question it. Even though I already did. Hello, you want to sell any Reviva seeds? Oh, thank you. We can move on now. We have to store some of our items that we got on this little excursion. Here's the nifty box. Uh, I should... I'm gonna throw a few of these stun and sleep seeds in here, because we don't need all of those. And yeah, we should be good. Let's go on with our lives. Let's move on. And I'm gonna be sure this time to put... the fangs and the claws and the ribbons on my Pokemon. So let's go to Crevice Cave. Where hopefully Scizor's gonna be. Crevice Cave. 15 floors. I don't know if there's like a midpoint in between those or not, or if it's just all 15 floors at once. But we're gonna find out. Okay, so give me the Luxio Fang. Give Allie the Feralaclaw. And then here is your Joy Ribbon. That did absolutely nothing. I'm disappointed in you. Why do they step back? Why is that a thing they just do? It doesn't make sense. Is that like a special quality? Like a... IQ thing that they have? There might be an IQ thing and I'm just not understanding it. Hold on, we'll actually look it up. Uh, team Alley IQ Defender Wary Fighter. If a Pokemon misses an attack, it takes damage. It takes a step back to distance itself. Okay. So it steps back to make sure it doesn't take damage. That's actually pretty smart. It just, like, confused me. Like, why do they keep on jumping back? It made no sense. But now it really does. Because they're doing it so they don't get hurt. Did the music just change? Oh, great. It's a, it's a monster house! 
Yeah, so if you can't tell, we're not dealing with this. A goodbye. Goodbye. Don't worry, just hold on there for like two seconds. No! Are you kidding me? I have to do Roll Call Orb because that's just... I'm going to lose another Reviver Seed if I don't. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. I'm so sorry, Percival. That was not supposed to happen. But someone couldn't... Hold on. Someone had to kill you. I'm so sorry. That that... Azumarill had to do that. I don't know if I really like the dungeons where the music, you know, changes every floor. It just seems weird to, like, you're going through one floor and then the next floor it's a different music. It's just like, you know, it feels a lot less natural, I guess. Like, dungeons that have a set of music for, like, different floors, for, like, different levels or sections, like, it makes sense for that. But, like, for different music every floor, it seems like there's just a jukebox throughout the entire dungeon that's just playing music on that specific floor. I don't know. Then, like, some floors are just so close to each other. Oh, hi, Slacking. Some floors are just close to each other that the music can be heard, so they don't play jukebox for that floor. Maybe that's the secret we've been missing this whole time. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, Jukebox Theory. Did you just instantly return to normal speed? I call hacks. Will you stop it. Will you stop it? Die. Uh, hi, Swablu. Where's your grown up version, Altaria? Oh, hi, Slack King. Take a Thunder Thing. Hopefully, this will actually kill. Oh, yes, it does, because we're... Ah! Slacking. Hit him with the wide slash. He's dead. Give me the sinister box. Excuse me. That is rude and uncalled for. Now take that. Don't, 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 don't. Go around it. Go around it, because I don't want the animation to play three times. I really do not want that to play, like, three different times. It's annoying. Oh, someone's got a gummy. Ah! Kill it! Oh, hi, Sneasel. You want to join a team? Oh, wait, no. We don't... What in the heck? Why did you only give me 12 experience? Oh, there's Altaria. Kill it! Good job, Allie. You did it. We did it together. <gasps> Piplup! Oh, hi, Piplup. <gasps> okay, yes, I really want Piplup. I want Piplup. I want Piplup. I want Piplup. Piplup's adorable. Oh, great. I can't use my defense scarf. Uh, we're gonna send Piplup home because I don't want him to get hurt. There you go, Piplup. Go back home. I think that either is a new feature in Explorers, or that's just a new feature in Sky. Okay, there is a midpoint. Okay, that's just the main menu music. That's just the top menu music. Where it, no, not that. The Welcome to the Pokemon World music. 
I think that's actually what it's called in the official soundtrack, is Welcome to the Pokemon World. No, Welcome to the World of Pokemon, I think, is what it's called in the soundtrack. No, stop hitting Jinx. Just leave Jinx alone. Jinx isn't doing anything right now. Actually, she is trying to fight me. Attack her. Don't you even try paralyzing me. No, you know what? I don't want you on the team. Allie, I'm... Oh, yes. There it is. Okay, I can see it. Allie, I'm not gonna pester you anymore after this, but when are you gonna level up? Like, come on, both of us have been at level 50 by now, and you're just sitting at level 49, just doing nothing, but watching us level up. It's kind of annoying. Like, come on, man. Do I have to switch out something? Uh, let's eat this plain seed. Here, Allie, maybe that will help you out. I did look up, like, Wonder Mill codes in between episodes to see, like, maybe we could get some Wonder Mail, but there's, like, no specific codes, like, other than codes that you can make yourself, and that... Like, if there's codes I can find on the internet, I will... I would definitely use them, but if it's codes that I make myself, that feels like cheating. I'm only going to use codes that I find. So we're probably not going to use any Wonder Mail codes today, or any time in this series. Hi, fetch. And die. Fall down to Thunderfang, because we are stronger than you. Excuse me, Zane. There you go, Allie. You leveled up to 50. We're halfway to our max level, even though experience-wise, that is definitely a no. So, do they have an IQ? Hold on, I want to see if they have an IQ that... Uh... Wary fighter, cheerleader... Uh, what would it even be under? Bodyguard! If a team member next to the Pokemon is in trouble and has low HP, the Pokemon will step in to take attacks. Okay, so they have Bodyguard. Which makes sense. Because we're friends. And friends are each other's bodyguards. That sounds bad. Wait, what? Well, Beauty lied to me because we went through 12 floors already, and... Excuse me? Don't you dare do that to my friend. Oh, great. Just great. Stop it! Leave me alone! Here you go, Percival. Can you stop it? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you! That's exactly what I was hoping for today. Just take this. Just eat this attack. And die from it. Dang it, now we're down to one Reviver Seed. I hope we can at least keep, like, two for the battle, but no. This area here is probably just one of those looped areas, I bet. If it is, I'm just gonna use a pure seed. No, it's not. But I bet it's a... No, it does actually lead to somewhere. Okay, I'll take it. Crevice Cave Pit. <gasps> Scizor! <whistles> Tee hee! Visitors, what a rare sight! 
hee hee. Welcome. I'm Frostlass. I play host to the infrequent visitors to this frozen hinterland. Hinterland. It must have been awfully exhausting for you to fight those blizzards. Please do come closer. You must be chilled almost down to the bone. So let me freeze you solid all the way down to the bone. Uh. Don't do that. That's mean. That's scary. And surprise attack! Dang it, she can use hail. My only weakness, not being able to attack her and I have to hit just randomly. She is a ghost type. Brick Break is not gonna do anything. Oh, you know, it's just the problem with the fact that we legitimately can't hit anything. And we did it. Perfect. Eek! You're alive! Uh, w where? Ah, oh, yes, I recall now. I had been exploring when I was set upon by that beastie frost lass. Oh, you're rescuing me, I presume? Forgive me for my lapse in etiquette. My name is Scizor. I'm an explorer. I am sincerely grateful for your coming to my rescue. If you hadn't come along, I very well could have remained encased in ice forever. However, little did I expect to see that decades have passed since my unbound predicament. Why, it is as if I have traveled to an entirely different world. Incidentally, I would like to somehow repay you for saving my life. However, I find myself alone in an alien world without a single poke to my name. I have but no idea how I could possibly repay you. Oh, don't worry. You don't need to thank us anymore. Hmm, however... Ah, yes, that may do. Tell me, you did say you were an exploration team, yes? Uh, yep. Ah, very well. You see, though you may find it unlikely, I was once upon a time an explorer of some repute. Well, I'll have you know, I'm an honorary member of the Pokemon Exploration Team Federation. Uh, what? An honorary member? Correct. An honorary member such as myself has the right to give special status to exemplary, 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 exemplary exploration teams. And you fit the bill. Your plucky courage during my rescue proves that you are more than exemplary. Stop saying that word. So I can birdie upon you the secret rank. Huh? Secret rank? Yes, an exploration team with that rank is eligible to take special missions. Special missions are highly confidential jobs that come straight from the Exploration Team Federation itself. Highly confidential? Why are... why all the secrecy? You may not know, but it will come clear in due time. I'll need to make a note of your new rank on your Explorer badge. I'm a secret rank member. I don't have a clue what you did for us, but... Thank you. Ah, it's the least I could do. I shall never forget your valor and kindness in coming to my rescue. I must be on my way. Farewell. What a nice lad he is. I like that. I like that picture. Just him. Just like, uh, I'm scared. Well, that was like quick. That was very quick. It did not take that long. Oh, let's go see if there's any Reviver Seeds for sale. I need Reviver Seeds. I really need Reviver Seeds. Welcome to the Kecleon Shop. Are you going to wish sell? No, you don't like me, I see. Fine, I don't like you either. Let's go put up some of our items here, too. Let's go see if... Our friends down at the team base are going to tell us anything today. We still have a lot of storage space we haven't used up, which is crazy. We've gotten so many items in this series, yet there's still so much space that we haven't used up. And that's the completely maximum space. Like, it stops after that. It did unlock them! Yes! I can get Master Rank 
one, two, and three in Guildmaster rank. Yes! So I had to do this mission to unlock them. Oh, that's so awesome. We can progress with our rank. It just sucks that literally every bit of experience that we got in between those don't count. But hey, it's fine. That means we can just do it again. My goodness, you two are something else. To rescue an explorer of such legendary status as Scizor... Okay. Okay. Because she had nothing to say for us then, huh? Um... Secret rank? Not anything I've heard of. Hey, hey! Maybe someone pulled a prank on you. Hey, hey! Huh? You got- you all got to meet that famous explorer, Scizor? Oof, by golly, I envy you. Uh, that's the team from the anime episode that they did. Let's see what Shuttle tells us to say about this. Secret rank? Hmm, what could such a sinister-sounding rank possibly mean for you? Hmm, fine. I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Hi, Wigglytuff. The secret rank? Wow, seems like a fun rank. That's, that's all you have to say. I did not notice this poster, this banner behind Wigglytuff, and now I am scared. Those soulless eyes that both the actual Wigglytuff and the poster have just scare me. Just stare into that. That's freaky. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I don't even want to look at it anymore. Let's get out of here. That's creepy. Hello, Loudred. Ooh, we can do some... I want to do some Sentry Rank. Let's do Sentry Duty today. Look at the Pokemon on the top screen and identify the Pokemon. You only get two wrong. Here comes a Pokemon. That is Wartortle. The Pokemon is Wartortles. Okay, looks like you're right. Next up... Uh... Spinda. Because it's round. And Spinda has a lot to do with round stuff. Check a Pokemon. That is Piplup. Pokemon's Piplups. Oh, we're doing perfect. Uh, I'm gonna get Skarmory. Uh, Breloom. It was Breloom. Okay, two more footprints to get hopefully right. That is Ponyta. Because it looks like a horseshoe. And finally... Ooh, that's Marsh Stomp. Perfect score. We didn't miss a single one aside from the one fail that we did. We're so good at this. What rewards are Chatsalt's gonna give us today? You've worked an honest day. Let me review your Sentry Duty performance. Your results were, well, well, perfect. Oh, look at that jingle. Or, yeah, jingle. You identified every visitor correctly. Uh, yeah, we did. Excellent! We did it! Your effort will certainly be rewarded. The reward will be special, too. You two deserve an especially generous selection of rewards. As a reward for a job done perfectly, we received $300. A defense scarf. Oh, we're piracy. Oh, you're beautiful, Chatot. And you immediately hurt my feelings. You two, keep that up. Yeah. Oh, we don't eat at the guild anymore. I forgot. That's sad. We don't get to eat with the guild anymore. Uh, is the Sunflora Surrounded Sea stuff gonna start now? Because that's the next thing I think that we have to do. For our story. Ooh, let's go see if there's Reviver Seeds for sale. Don't want to forget those. That's an important part of a healthy breakfast. Reviver Seeds is an important part of a healthy breakfast. Look at how many Reviver Seeds now. We have one. Perfect. 
Wait, I thought we had two with us. Oh, I didn't sort out the items, did I? We have two! Perfect. Uh, you're still here. Don't know why... Is... Corefish gonna say something? Because I think Corefish is the one that tells you, Hey, Sunflora's got something cool to say. Although, Sunflora never has anything cool to say. Let's see if we can get a perfect score twice in a row. And then we'll end off this episode. Look at the full print. Ooh, the high score is 10,600. Here we go. Uh, that's a Lediba. Oh, it's a Meganium. That's a Wynut. It's probably a Rhyhorn, and I just screwed up. <gasps> okay, we got that one. We can't screw up now. Sandslash. I think that's what this one is. Perfect. Okay, that's good. Uh, Swampert. That's gotta be a Swampert. There's no way that's not Swampert. Okay, good. That is Combuskin. Because Combuskin's the only bird on that list, and that's a bird claw. Um, uh, Stomp. I think we've seen this one, and I think it was Stomp. Okay. And finally... Uh, Venusaur. Are we right? Yes, perfect score. Not as well as we did last time, but hey, perfect score still. We worked an honest day. It wasn't honest, it was perfect. Not exactly high score, but still pretty good. Excellent! What did our rewards are today? $300. Defense Scarf. I'm gonna get another Reviver Seed. Mm hmm. And I'm guessing a Heal Seed. I can farm Revive Seeds this way. If this is just gonna keep on giving me Reviver Seeds, I can farm it up this way. We should get some rest now. Okay, so that's it for today's episode. Next time, we will take on Sunflora's Surrounded Sea mission, and maybe we'll most likely be ranked up. Possibly. Who knows, actually. There's three Master Ranks after Master Rank to get there. There's Master Rank, Master Rank 1, 2, and 3, Star... And then there's Guildmaster rank, and then we're done. Which, Guildmaster is more than what Grandmaster for Explorers of Scott of Rescue Team DX is, so yeah. We're not going to be getting there for a long time. But that's it for today's episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I will see you guys next time.